Welcome back, Jeff Hagee Daily Success Strategies. Thanks for being with me today. What I want to do today is talk about what it takes to become elite. What does it take to become the best? Sherry Wynn is a two-time Olympian. She's a national champion basketball coach, and she's just an amazing lady. We've been friends for a while, and I had the opportunity to interview her on the Jeff and Heidi show, and I'd love for you to check that out. It's episode 63. I'll put the link in the show notes so you can check that out. But right now I'm actually reading one of her books, Unleash the Winner Within You. And I wanna share a story in there today that she talks about her story of how she became an Olympian, but it goes far beyond that. It's how you become the best at what you're doing, what you need to do to be elite. My friend coach, Renee Lopez, you've heard me talk about her before. I've had her on different shows. She posted something today that I want to just read because that puts things in perspective a little bit. It said, in 1999, 7 million girls in the U.S. were playing soccer. The chance of making this U.S. Olympic soccer team was 0.00031%. Sam and Christy Mewis both did it. So let's look at that. What are the chances of becoming an Olympian? Well, first of all, let's look at this. So. According to the Georgia Career Information Center, 98 out of 100 high school athletes never go on to play any collegiate sports in their lives. And only 1% of those ever get a Division I scholarship. Only about 3% of all male and female high school basketball players ever go on to play collegiate, athlete, collegiate ball at any level. And less than 1% of those have an opportunity to go and play professionally. So beyond athletics, let's look at these things and you know what are the odds? What do you need to do to become the best? Now, as I mentioned, Sherry, she didn't just make the Olympics. She went to the Olympics twice. She's a two-time Olympian. So how did she do it? She said, I didn't aim to be one of the best. I had to aim to be the best. She really focused on being the best. She said for 12 years, she practiced twice a day. Before school, she went early to school so she could practice. After school, she practiced with her team. She stayed for an hour after practice. She practiced on weekends on her own. During the summer, she would play against the guys because they were bigger, stronger, and faster. She was doing everything she could to really up her game. And when she was selected to be on the US, USA team handball team, she, for year round, practiced twice a day. And she said to do this, she was taking the actions that other people weren't willing to do. She, in the book, she says, if you want to be a winner, you have to think big. You have to believe you can separate yourself from the 97% of people who try to make it big. Not just the 97% of people, but the 97% who are willing to try. I think that's a powerful statement. I want to say that again. You have to believe you can separate yourself from the 97% of people who try to make it big. Not just the 97% of people, but the 97% who are willing to try. So this is the best of the best. This is the elite. So look at what you're doing. Are you an entrepreneur? Are you an athlete? What are you doing? How are you going to separate yourself from the other 97%? To be one of the best, you've got to think different. You've got to act different. You've got to have different goals than other people. You've got to be willing to do what other people aren't willing to do. You have to be willing to separate yourself every single day. You know, I often talk to people about all their goals and what it takes to get there. Everyone's got goals. Everyone's got dreams. But they don't follow through because they're not willing to do what it takes to achieve those goals and dreams. So that's what I want you to think about. What is it that you have to do to separate yourself from the 97% who are trying to be the best in your field. What is it you need to do? What is it you need to do that others aren't willing to do? First things first is you've got to have clearly defined, specific written out goals. If you don't have it, get my momentum series for free. Go to jeffhagey.com slash momentum. That'll help you to establish those goals, understand your why and purpose behind each one of them. And then if you're ready to take things to the next level, if you're ready to separate yourself, go to mindset.jeffhagey.com. All right. Thanks for being with me. I hope this is something to help you to see 
the future. See what you need to do to really push and achieve those dreams and goals that you have. Please go share this with someone else as well. Appreciate that. Thanks for being with me and I'll be back tomorrow.